sometimes I get asked how much nutrition education I had in medical school and I usually say I'll be generous and say not much. Like most medical students, even today, for the category of nutrition, we were taught biochemistry, we were taught about physiology of digestion, the structure of vitamins, how to diagnose severe vitamin deficiency. Now these certainly are all important things to know as a doctor, but they're not as useful when it comes to being able to effectively guide and counsel patients on what to put on their plates for dinner at night, or what to take for lunch on a busy work day. The idea for starting a culinary medicine course at UCI actually grew out of interactions I had with medical students over the years. Early on, I worked with students seeing patients together in my clinic, and also when I was giving them lectures about integrative medicine that included information about using diet to prevent and treat chronic disease, it was evident that medical students were not really aware of some of the important basic research about healthy diets or how to counsel patients with chronic illness about healthy eating. My goal with the culinary medicine program was to teach first and second year medical students who are early in their medical training hands-on practical healthy cooking skills paired with providing a basic foundation in practical nutrition knowledge, but in the context of patient cases with different chronic diseases, so they had a focus on what they were learning all this for. I began to notice that my personal impression about the lack of training in medical school was also held up by studies showing that only 12% of office visits include nutrition guidance, and about one in five patients with heart disease, diabetes, and obesity receive nutrition counseling. So it became clear to me that this was something that needed to change, and I wanted to be part of doing something about it. Food is an important part of our culture. It has such a social component because we socialize when we go out and eat or come together with families and friends. But food also has such an impact on our health. We see that small changes in our diet can have a huge impact, not only on our lab values and lab numbers as well as our weight, but on how we feel. Culinary medicine gives me the opportunity to teach the next generation of doctors not only to be role models for their patients with their own healthy eating habits, but also in how to educate and teach patients. The Susan Samueli Integrative Health Institute and the Samueli Foundation have supported the Culinary Medicine Elective for medical students. And together with generous gifts from Lois Eisenberg, made it possible to build the UCI Family Health Center Lois Eisenberg Teaching Kitchen. Fully functional teaching kitchen within our federally qualified health center in Santa Ana. We've created a set of healthy cooking classes in Spanish where patients can learn hands-on skills and knowledge for how to modify traditional dishes into healthy recipes that will sustain the health of them and their families. Many people, even doctors, get really intimidated about cooking and feel that they don't have the time or skills to make healthy meals. Our goal of our culinary medicine program is to continue to train medical students, but also create an advanced elective for the students so they will get to use their skills that they learned in their first course and actually teach patients. We also want to expand culinary medicine for our residents, fellows, and faculty. We want them to learn these skills that they will incorporate into their own life as well as teach their patients. This will lead to healthy eating habits as well as improved physician and healthcare provider well-being. We try to teach basic cooking skills through recipes that we call building blocks. We give students simple recipes that are easy to follow and then introduce them to different blocks that enhance the recipes. For example, our first class is a class on knife skills in the Mediterranean diet. I show the students how to use a knife and the concepts of a basic stir fry. They take those two learning blocks and add a third, a sauce. We can then interchange those blocks between different recipes and skills, and students slowly start to learn the different facets of cooking. Really what I've learned from this culinary medicine elective is that cooking doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to take long. You can take these different building blocks and make a variety of dishes that taste good and are also easy to make. Because truly, and it's a cliche to say this, food is medicine. They're not interchangeable. So when I'm out there, talking to patients in clinic and saying, hey, you need to be doing this, this, and this, it's almost like I'm prescribing them something, and you cannot be negligent when you prescribe something. I believe culinary medicine is the face of 21st century medicine. It helps to give our patients the skills and knowledge to empower them to be active partners in their own health. It gives them tools to better control, and hopefully in the future, to prevent chronic disease in the first place by supporting the foundations 
of what keeps our bodies healthy.